What's going on guys? I am Simple Simon. Welcome to this week's comic haul. Pretty light week this week. Uh, obviously picked up this week's DC books. Small stash from last week's diamond pickups. Um, but I also got a pretty sweet AOK -okay from Captain Saro. So stick around if you want to check that out. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to help a brother out, hit that thumbs up and let's do this. So, let's do this. I'll start off with the DC books that came out this week. Um, first, I've got Detective Comics 1045. This is the LCSD, Local Comic Shop, Shop Day variant. It's a nice shiny foil. I don't know if you can see that, um, but I thought I'd pick that one up there. The, the foil cover, uh, the, it feels really flimsy compared to most foil covers I'm used to, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd pick that up. It's the nice um, Vermeo cover there. Um, this next one is another cover by Wonder Woman Black and Gold issue 6. Been, there's been some really great variants coming out from this series. Um, but a lot of the really good ones are exclusive. Like the David Nakayama one, I think is an exclusive that came out for this issue and it is an absolute banger. Next we got Catwoman issue 37. I am so behind on reading, it's not funny. I've barely read in the last three weeks. It's embarrassing. Uh, but that's that one there, it's the cover A. And you know I always pick up at least two copies of the Frizen variants and you got Poison Ivy on this issue. Very nice. Next we got Robin issue 8. I can't even remember. I think I've only read the first four or five issues um, but I did enjoy those issues that I have read uh, and I really like this character Flatline. I think she's super cool. So definitely we'll uh, get onto that one. Um, next one. Uh, so that was it actually from this week's DC. So pretty small and then everything else here is pretty much um, Stuff that came out from Diamond last week, as well as some um, stuff I had in my box that was on hold for me that I hadn't picked up yet. So uh, we've got Supergirl, Wonder Woman of Tomorrow. I picked up issue four and five, which I had sitting in my box. This is a series that uh, I heard good things about the first issue, uh, but I haven't read any of it. I'm just gonna wait until it all comes out so I can read it all in completion sometime in the next century. Next, these are House of Slaughter issue one. Uh, I think these were the second prints. Uh, so there's a second print there, and I also got the shiny one. I thought it was a foil cover, but it's actually just the title that's actually kind of shiny. So um, yeah, pick those ones up. All right, next one, another one I need to catch up on, Primordial Issue 3. I feel like Issue 2 only came out no longer. Um, but again, I read the first issue, enjoyed it. Need to catch up on that. We're pumping through it today. Uh, this is Eat the Rich Issue 4. Again, another one, I've only read the first issue. It was okay. I didn't love it like a lot of people loved it, but um, I think it's only five issues. So again, just once it comes out, I'll just, I prefer to read books all in one hit. Just my memory's so bad. When I read a single issue, I just, next time I pick it up, I, I don't remember anything. If I read a few issues in a row, the story kind of, you know, sticks a little bit better. Uh, this was last week. This was Batman issue 117. I forgot to pick up the variant last week. So I grabbed it this week and I think these are joining covers, I think. So, um, I had to pick that one up, you know me. I love some joining covers. Then we have some Maria Lovett Porcelain. Uh, I've read the, f oh, I think I've read the, f I think I've read the three issues. I think I'm up to date on this one. I love the covers that they're bringing out for these. Uh, this looks very similar to the, um, the issue one homage to Alex Ross's Harlequin. Uh, it just reminds me a lot of it. Um, but obviously a little bit different there. And then we've of course got the um, old school DC homage there. Uh, I don't know what this is an homage to, so if you know, I can't remember who let me know last time. Um, they did a similar thing for issue three. Uh, someone in the comments let me know what book it was, so I appreciate you. Uh, let us know if you know this one. Uh, next, Oof, sorry, I apologize. There's been no Liquorworthy book so far, so it's because I've actually only got one this week. So uh, this is probably the only Liquorworthy cover I've got, and um, these aren't cover buys. Um, I will read this eventually. I've heard it's quite good too, and that is Gun Honey issue 3. The cover for the next issue is absolutely uh, lick worthy. So lick worthy. Uh, we'll go with, who's going to lick this book? Amaranth from last week. We'll use her again. She's been pretty popular. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Never do that again, Super Russ. All right, this next one was not a book that I bought. This was another gift from Mark. Mark likes to gift me things. What a nice guy. Um, he knows that I collect Kiss covers, so he actually picked this one up for me. 
and it is Kang, the Conqueror. Um, I said, I said to him today, I was like, who is Kang? The amount of times, the amount of things I said to Mark today, uh, and he just gave me that look like, can't believe it. Uh, but yeah, I really, that's a really nice kiss cover. Uh, so yeah, thank you, Mark. You are the best. I appreciate you. And then we've got a trade. I don't buy trades. Uh, this is a book uh, I spoke about a couple weeks ago because I picked up one of the covers. Um, I heard Comic Burrito, I think, talking about this quite a while back when this book was coming out. Uh, and uh, they really sold it to me. I was like, oh, that sounds really cool. So I've always wanted to read this. And these trades are super cheap. Um, so glad to pick that up and I'll get around to reading that again sometime this century. That is my books from the shop this week, but I've also got a crazy A-OK -okay from Captain Saro. So before I show you that, I'm going to do this week's uh, comic community video shout outs. Every week I like to shout out uh, the comic book community videos that I bagged and boarded too. So only two videos to shout out this week um, and they're both no strangers to the comic book community. If you don't know these two gentlemen, you probably should. Uh, first one was Asian Funk Comics. Uh, he doesn't do a lot of content anymore. Uh, he hadn't released a video for a while, so it was really cool to see his uh, video from him pop up. Uh, he did an interview with um, Stan Lee's Taylor. Like, you know, making suits kind of Taylor. Um, not, not, not my best friend, Tom Taylor. Um, but yeah, he, he did an interview, uh, what was his name? David Parso. So, uh, Mark, with a C, uh, Asian Funk, he interviewed David uh, a little while back um, and it was a really great interview. Um, there was so many, David had so many awesome Stan Lee stories. So you should probably go back and check out that interview he did a while back too. Uh, the video I watched today was just an interview because David has uh, some of the highest graded signed Stan Lee books uh, on the census, is that what I call it? Um, and he's actually going to be selling them. And when I say that uh, David's got some of the highest graded CGC signed Stanley books, he's not just getting random books signed, he's got some big, big books signed. So um, I'll leave a link to that video below. Make sure you um, check out Asian Funk. Uh, I was super stoked when I had him come on my Collectible Show and Tell show. I was super stoked because um, before that, we really just communicated through comments and Instagram and YouTube and all that sort of stuff. So uh, it was really cool that I was actually able to meet him on my own stream and hopefully I'll be able to get him back again sometime. Uh, the second video I watched was, after I finished watching the Asian Funk video, uh, Lame or Frame was still streaming. So I actually checked out the end of Lame or Frame from Rod the Recon. Everyone should know who Rod the Recon is. Uh, he brings in a lot of people into the community and that's what Lame or Frame is about. Uh, it's a show that really brings new community members together. Um, Rod is the guy who actually first shouted me out uh, in the comic book community. Uh, and if you don't know Lame of Frame, it's basically where he invites people from the comic book community, some of the worst drawers out there, to come on a drawing game show. Uh, but he does also get some good artists sometimes too. Uh, Art Chemist was on there today, uh, and he's actually a really, really good artist. So I will leave a link to this, sorry, today's episode will be down in the description below. Just check out all the links in the description below. Um, because I'd appreciate it. Alrighty, so, Captain Sarah got me an AOK, -okay, and it's a big one. So, uh, if you guys didn't watch uh, my last video that I dropped a few days back, uh, me and Captain Saro went on a, kind of like a comic book crawl. We went through the city, um, had so much fun editing that video. So if you haven't seen it, check that out. I've got the whole video that, of what we picked up coming out on Friday. So, yeah, make sure you check out that video. If you haven't already, I'll leave a link to that Blow as well. So yeah, she um, told me that she got me a Christmas present and she had it and she was like, it's in my car. Do you want it now? I was like, no, it's a Christmas present. Don't give it to me now. And she's like, but I'm impatient. I was like, I don't care. I don't want your Christmas present. It's not even like, it's more than a month away. Uh, it's actually about a month away. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was like, no, I don't want your Christmas present early. And she goes, well, how about this? Just take it as an A-OK -okay and then I'll get you another Christmas present. And I was like, that's not the worst deal. So <laughs> she gave me this. It's a CGC slab, oh my God. I knew exactly what it was when she first told me that she was getting me something and she told me it wasn't cheap. I was like, thanks, now I've got to get you something expensive, right? <laughs> um, so I guessed exactly what it was. She's like, what do you think it is? And I said, I think it's this book and it is. Funniest thing was she said to me, it's also in your favorite grade. And that is true. Uh, so this is something is, the killing the something is Killing the Children, issue one, the fourth print. In a 9.6. 
Um, I absolutely love this cover. I've wanted it for so long and I finally have it. I'm super stoked and um, <laughs> yeah, I can't believe she got it for me. So I said to her, since this is an AOK -OK now, maybe for Christmas you can get me issue five. That would be awesome. Um, but yeah, super stoked to finally have this. Um, I definitely considered buying this a few times, but I think in the end, like more, more recently, I was like, I'll probably just be able to afford a, a um, raw copy, but I really wanted this slab because yeah, it's just, I love this cover. It's awesome. So yes, thank you, Captain Saro. Uh, I'll leave her link in the description below as well. But like I said, you guys should check out the vlog video I did the other day, because uh, it was a real fun one. And it got a lot of views. A lot more views than my videos normally get. Pretty sure that had something to do with Captain Saro being on the thumbnail. But whatever, I'll take it. Moving forward, I might do more vlogs. You know, they're, they're fun to do those videos, so yeah. Anyway, that's all for me this week. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. And um, yeah, stick around. I've got the whole video of what me and Sarah picked up from that vlog video coming out this Friday. I'll have another uh, episode of The Noob with Mark coming out. Uh, we talked about Shang-Chi today. Um, and you know me, I've always got stuff coming out. So yeah, until next time guys, I am Simple Simon. Tell your friends and keep it simple. Bye.